Um, yeah, he's got uh, Mike's got blue. We'll do. Uh, should we do um, the fucking fruit yeah, pastels? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we are. This is the first tangent of the day. Um, so, um, in sports science, there is something called the rectilinear relationship between absolute intensity and sports results for weightlifting. Um, and that basically means you absolutely have to put more weight on the bar to get better for snatch, clean, and jerk during a competition phase. Makes fucking sense. And the way I do it practically is to tell these fuckers to add a different fruit pastel or fractional plate onto their bar for the duration of the competition phase. Geordie, what you got? I'm on lemons. You're on lemons, which is the 1.5 yellow fractionals. What did you have last cycle? Uh, I don't know what we call Limes. Limes. Yeah, limes. <laughs> They're the green ones. <laughs> They're the one kilos. Mike, you had lemons last time. Yeah. What you on now? Blueberries. Blueberries. That's the fucking doubles. Right. And then we'll get the strawberries and I don't know what the fuck happens after that, but you get the point. Strawberries. So it makes it easy for me to write it. Strawberry. Yeah. yeah it's the red. <laughs> or a raspberry. Yeah, Take no, your pick. I, I, I digress. Right. But. Um, what these pair don't like doing is thinking during the session. And I don't like them thinking ever. So we write in like 120 for the snatch with the de facto that there's going to be a fucking lemon on it or a blueberry. So that's 123, 124. Makes life a lot easier. Do you, do you think about the lemon? Uh, no, but if it feels particularly heavy, I always <laughs> say, ah, well, it was a lemon. On there. <laughs> it was a... <laughs> uh, well, I mean, what's... Because Joe Walton's on lemons as well. So if yeah. Joe and I are trained together, we'll put the lemons on the inside of the... Yeah, it's on the inside. Yeah, on the, on the inside. Pops on the inside. And then basically the bar looks like 120. It's 123, but to us it's 20. Right. Um, Every, everything from fucking 70 kilos up. The lemons go on. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. So Very important. In So even, you know, when you think about it, how many snatches you do at 70 kilos in your warm-up throughout a week... Well, they're all at 73 now. Yeah. And they're all at 93. They're all at 113. So, yeah, the, it, you're overloading every warm up set. That's right. Um, you're respecting the law of the rectilinear relationship between absolute intensity and sports results. And those fuckers don't have to think. So, coaches, use that one when your athletes have developed mastery and built up a training volume over about five to seven years. Great. Um, so, what's our target, Mike? Uh, what have I crystal balled? Crystal balled a 50 clean, clean. No, 50 clean jerk double. Correct. So you failed 145, clean and jerk, clean and jerk. Yep. You've just done 144 for a treble. Yeah. And now 150, you said to me yesterday, yep. I could treble that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, in a, we're in a good place. We're in a fucking good place. Right. Excellent. Captain, how's your training? This week? Yeah. This week's been <laughs> very good for yeah. me. I've completed a whole session which I haven't done for four or five weeks. Have I been pain-free? Right. So what's the pain been? Because the, uh, the last time you were on a new cycle of training yeah, and you were doing really, new things. It went really well. And then yeah. just before the competition, I don't know what I did, but it was something to my hip. So right. there was a lot of rest and not completing a lot of sessions. So this week I actually completed the five sessions and got to train with the girls again. Right. Which yeah, and to you me is some... a win. <laughs> So you've had a win, and it's Christmas. We're having a couple of uh, yeah. uh, Smirnoffs. Eight, number 88. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mr. Smirnoff. Um, you're pain-free, and where's the focus of your training? Um, focus. focus. Not mental, as in? <laughs> no, um, just to lift better, isn't it? Look, so you, you, you had your start position changed, position so that changed, now should be consolidated. Is, it's feeling a little bit normal now, which is really good. I'm yeah. not thinking about that too much. Um, squatting because I haven't done that for a while and that that's feeling good at the moment so mm. just build strength again right so uh we don't do fruit pastels for the captain because as you can hear um her development stage is at the volume stage building the volume that you can recover from so we can then load the bar a heavier. lot more technical the last couple of weeks which yeah. is very good but I've struggled with. Can be challenging, yeah. especially when you don't know uh, true or false. Yeah. I watched you yesterday miss 60. So that you put a 63 um, where you, it was like off balance. Then you overcompensated for one. Then you hit one on the dial. Yeah. And I'm like, I can feel that yeah. if you were to revert, it would make it easier. Yeah, it would. 
and you're challenging <laughs> yourself I'm to stay really hard not yes to. <laughs> yeah and that's a difficult place to be yeah. isn't it between when you're trying to adjust something in your training and the outcome may be less uh feely normal than usual but it will it will, it will get yes it happen. absolutely will um right that's the uh, what else has happened i've got uh meg you at a pb snatch yesterday in training 71 lovely, kilos well done a lovely one as well um uh also uh liam you had a pb snatch yesterday didn't you? uh today 95 kilos wasn't it yes. yeah. yeah look at that um I think I'll wait until we do our investigation series later on uh, before we uh, go further with Liam, to be honest. Um, uh, Nazi, who's over from Jordan. Um, you may remember Nazi from episode four or five. Uh, Nazi's at 135, 165. Hit a fucking 300 total in training yesterday. Nice one. Yeah, lovely. Very good. Sylvia is down from fucking Stoke yeah. or Manchester, wherever the fuck she lives. Um, you hit 180 last night? 80, 100? Good darts. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, very good. Um, so we had a good training night last night. A lot of intensity. Yeah. Charlie Stone had a fucking... Uh, whoa, went to the wall, Charlie did, if you're listening. Went to the fucking wall. Come out of it well, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it's so difficult to get out of those, um, Oof, those tough sessions. Place. Yeah. The sessions where you're, you're missing and your mind is getting in the way. It's clearly not a body, uh, you know, a fatigue thing or anything. Nope. It's, it's purely psychological. And the amount of the amount of times you're telling yourself, "Well, this is fucking bullshit. I can't do this." You know, you want everything in your power is telling you not to give up, but that's all you want to do is just pack it in. And um, yeah, sat and had a chat with him. I, I I went hard on him, and then that didn't work all, at all. all no. the boys did. It was <laughs> um, lovely to watch. Yeah, went, went hard on him, and that just went down like a lead balloon. So I just gave him a cut, said, "I love you. This is way." <laughs> <laughs> and then that's that yeah. too bad. You got to sort of, uh, you know, you feel it out. Sometimes it ain't all, always going to stick, is it? But, um, and that's the time where um, you know training in the environment uh, helps you as a lifter. You know, you're, you're with your teammates. Um, yeah. You know, they're there to pull you through. Get you through the hard times. That definitely happened last night. To happened honest. a few times last night. Yeah, there was a few uh, <laughs> few pressurized situations. I think what uh, Leah hit uh, ninety four kilo snatch. That was the most she snatched since the uh, the elbow tweak, mm -hmm. um, and that was a good confidence builder. She looked um, fucking all out on her cleaner jerks and uh, tired. She'd been working mornings, and we know Leah likes to sleep like fucking fourteen hours a <laughs> night. That's uh, you can imagine waking up at five o'clock, going in and training, like missing out on eight hours of sleep must be disastrous for training. Well done, Leah. 